we have moved the family to an appropriate location, the sort of a location um, that would be acceptable for my family, for Mike Rawlings' family, or your family uh, to be in. Um, and there's uh, room, to, room to roam there. Uh, it's an area that's uh, inside the city of Dallas, and it is an area away from other people. And uh, I want to, uh, uh, I think we, everyone knows at least Louise's first name, so I want to thank Louise um, and her family uh, for their perseverance, um, for uh, their patience in a very difficult situation, uh, for the bravery and the heroic way that they're going about uh, dealing with the situation. Uh, they are um, good people, kind people, uh, people who care about their community, and um, uh, they're obviously worried about their own health. Uh, they're concerned about uh, your health as well. And our hope is that they can have some peace and that they can be left alone uh, for a few days at least um, in that undisclosed location. And our hope is that the people who live around the, um, the apartment complex that they were in, uh, that their lives can get back to normal. I want to thank the owner of the apartment complex uh, for their understanding in this. Uh, the Vickery Meadows um, Neighborhood Association. Uh, Jennifer Staubach Gates, who went uh, door to door and was out there for us. Um, our health department, everyone who uh, worked on this. Our friends in the faith community who made the, uh, uh, the move that we were able to do today possible, as well as our, uh, our state and our our federal partners. An update on, on the house is uh, the contractors are inside. They finalized phase one, um, probably by now or will in the next few minutes. Uh, they'll finish up their work tonight, then they'll secure the building. Dr. Lakey and the state are working on a, a court order to keep the apart, uh, for the apartment to keep it secure and quarantined until we can begin phase two. The materials will be moved to an undisclosed secure area by the D Dallas County Fire Marshal. Um, I'm not sure if that is still correct because my understanding was DOT was going to get the permit here so we could get that taken care of. Either DOT got the permit here or we're going to take care of it. Uh, a separate vendor has the federal permit uh, required to move the materials uh, to their final destination. Um, and apparently we're working with them over the weekend on that process. Um, our EOC will continue to be activated. They'll continue to monitor the, uh, the, these uh, matters um, over the weekend. I want to uh, thank uh, my executive staff uh, as well and our team at Homeland Security Emergency Management and Dallas County Health and Human Services um, uh, who uh, we, we stood up that um, ICS model um, and, and took um, command of the situation at, at 8.30 and people, ha 8.30 in the morning yesterday, and people have worked very hard. It hasn't moved as quickly as I would like, but it's moved as quickly as was possible under the circumstances. And um, uh, so with that, you're, you're brought up to speed. I'm gonna uh, turn the mic over to uh, uh, David. David to Dave Daigle at CDC. Good evening and thanks for having us. I, I pray my update is very short. We, uh, we just worked on contact tracing today. I think you've seen the new numbers or what we call the, the contact tracing numbers that went from that list of uh, 100 what we call potential or possible cases down to 50 and 10 that we are now tracing actively. And the teams were out today working with the county and state. And um, that's it for us today. Thank you. Uh, we're making progress. Um, the city and the county has stepped up at every opportunity to, to uh, make sure the city is as safe as it can be. And uh, I feel good about it. I feel that uh, citizens uh, are safe and that we're doing everything possible to make it a reality. I want to say thank you to, to uh, Judge Jenkins. His leadership in the last uh, 48 hours has been remarkable and uh, we have been proud to serve on his team. The movement of this family was a moving moment for me. Uh, Judge Jenkins met them at their apartment, drove them in the car down to this uh, location, and uh, I welcomed them, and we both saw them say thank you. 
and it was uh, an important moment, I think, for this family, for the county and the city, and I think for the citizens of this town. We continue to work closely with CDC. Thank you for your effort. Uh, th they were out this afternoon talking to all uh, residents and continuing the communication about uh, the facts of this disease. Remember, there is zero chance that you can get this disease if you don't have contact with somebody that is actively showing symptoms of this. There's only one person in this city of Dallas that is actively showing, and they are at Presbyterian Hospital, and they are quarantined and safe. We're making sure we go through those 50 people to prioritize them and low and high risk in having the appropriate um, um, a protocol to work with each one uh, of them. We want to make sure that uh, you understand that uh, we are educating and re-educating all the public uh, with our 311 numbers and to make sure that uh, if anybody gets sick, to please call 911. Our paramedics have been trained on this and we'll get to you quickly and make sure uh, that you are taken care of. Now, the weekend is at hand. There's a lot going on. We just had the blessing of the animals in Clyde Warren Park and a lot of people showed up. Tomorrow, tonight is football season. Tomorrow is a state fair. I want everybody to get out and have a good time. On Tuesday night, we're having a national night out and all the neighborhoods are gonna get together. I spoke to CDC and said, is that safe? And they said, absolutely. We've got to get out and show the spirit of Dallas, Texas. I want to have a personal thank you to the Dallas Press. Your professionalism and how you've handled this makes me proud. There have been this reports around the nation that Dallas is fearful. And I've talked to a lot of people. We're all a little anxious, but there is no fear in our eyes. We will be safe. We will get this done in the appropriate way, and uh, I'm proud of the professionalism that we've shown. It's very important that we get these kids to school, and that's why Superintendent Miles is here to talk about next week. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, our priorities for the last uh, week has been threefold. Safety of our students, information for our students and parents, good information about the virus, about the situation, and then, of course, because we are an educational institution, instruction of all of our kids, including the kids that had to stay home. And so we will continue that. We think we're making progress, too, with regard to the information. Tonight, for example, we had a family and school meeting. Anybody who wanted to come to find out more, anybody who had concerns, we had only 30 parents and uh, community members there tonight, uh, which is a sign that information is getting out. We also had doctors on hand, and they fielded a lot of questions. And we've, been, uh, we've had that all week, and you can expect next week to be similar. We will have additional nurses still on hand, additional medical professionals coming in, talking to our staffs, talking to our parents, and talking to the children. And uh, it seems to the right information is getting out there. Uh, with regard to uh, attendance, I know that was an issue yesterday, uh, around 85. Today was about the same with regard to the five schools. Now, two of those five schools were closed. We also had a huge thunderstorm come through. We had 41 Dallas ISD schools uh, without power this morning, so we closed those schools out of 222. Um, Nonetheless, the rest of the, the district is, was in school and doing instruction. With regard to the instruction of the five students who, uh, have, who are being monitored and they're at home, uh, we sent to the, the health department today curriculum materials and computers and hotspots, uh, and those will be delivered tomorrow so that the students who are now enrolled in a homebound program can continue their education. So next week is more of the same, safety of our students, a lot more information or more information. Uh, we, we'll keep the, the parents and students updated. And then finally, we'll keep our focus on instruction. I believe that is, I don't have much time to look at all this. Yes, that is in fact it. So.